I'm glad my mom isn't this crazy. Hey everyone, this is Rabbit Ears Blog and welcome to my in theater movie review series. So today's in theater movie I'll be reviewing today is the new Hulu movie, Run. And before I get into my thoughts about this movie, here are a few words from the channel. Hey guys, if you want to check out more content from this channel, then tune in every Sunday and Monday for new videos. And if you happen to see any videos posted up during the week, that means that there was a bit of movie and TV news that I wanted to talk about, so those will be considered special videos. And if you want to chat with me on social media or see when new videos are being released, then follow me through Twitter and Facebook. And also, please feel free to join the new Facebook group, Rabbit Ears Blocks Reviews 2.0, where we talk about movies, TV shows, and video games with other fans of the genres. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled program. So Run is about a young girl named Chloe who was bounded in a wheelchair for so many years as she is taken care of by her mother, Diane. And everything seems to go by well with Chloe taking her medications every day and studying at home school until one day Chloe discovers that one of the medicine bottles has her mother's name on it instead of her name and it was then that Chloe starts realizing that her mother actually has more sinister plans for her. So what are my thoughts about this movie? I really enjoyed this movie. I thought that this movie was a really good intense domestic thriller and I think it did a fantastic job of remaining intense throughout the whole film. I really loved the way that they did the tension throughout this movie. Like I was actually sitting on the edge of my seat throughout the whole movie and wondering if Chloe's going to be caught by Diane and if Chloe's going to catch on to what Diane really has in store for her. And just seeing Chloe try to break out of the house by herself was really entertaining and intense at the same time because it's like I want Chloe to actually escape from the house and escape from her mother but at the same time I worry about Chloe being caught by her mother and worry about what her mother's going to do to Chloe once she catches her. So I like the fact that this film has a very intense and horrifying feel throughout the whole story. I also noticed that this film is a bit similar to both Carrie and Misery. Both films that were based off of books written by Stephen King. Who would have thought? But anyway, it's like Carrie because Chloe and Diane seem to have a similar relationship to Margaret and Carrie. Like Margaret and Carrie, Margaret is usually seen abusing Carrie and try to keep her home despite the fact that Carrie wants to go out and be on her own. And then in this movie you have Chloe trying to escape from her mother once she realizes that her mother actually has sinister plans for her. And there is even a scene in this movie that actually mirrors the scene in Carrie with Margaret and Carrie. Which I won't tell you about since I don't want to spoil the movie for you guys. But if you guys remember that scene towards the end of Carrie with Margaret and Carrie, you probably know what scene I'm talking about. And this movie is also like Misery as you have Diane act like Ann Wilkins as she's trying to take care of Chloe who's similar to the Arthur and Misery and then you have Diane trying to keep Chloe inside the house through all means necessary even that means hurting Chloe and the same thing happens in Misery with Ann Wilkins trying to keep her favorite Arthur stranded in the log cabin despite the fact that she's doing everything she can to make sure he stays there even that means torturing him. Another thing I really liked about this movie were the performances themselves. Sarah Paulson and Kira Allen both did a fantastic job at acting as a respected mother and daughter in this film. Like you see a lot of intense moments with Diane, especially when she starts to discover that Chloe's trying to escape from the house. And then you have Chloe trying to escape from the house to get away from her mother. And I think both actresses did a fantastic job at betraying the tension during these scenes. Now if there was a problem that I had with this film was that I felt like the characters were a little flat. Sure you get to know a little bit about Diane and about her situation at the beginning of the film but I felt like there was a lot more to these characters than what we see on the screen. Like for example with Diane, I want to know what she does for a living. Like does she work at a grocery shop? Does she work anywhere? And with Chloe, like how long has their relationship been going on throughout these years? Like does she had a very good relationship with Chloe at the very beginning? Or throughout those years. We do see a bit of that at the beginning of the movie where Chloe and Diane were getting along with each other at least before Diane went crazy. But I wanted to see more from their relationship before all these events unfolded and just get to know more about these characters. So overall I give Run a definite watch it. This film has a lot of great tension especially with Chloe trying to escape from Diane her mother. And I love the performances from both actresses. They gave it their all with portraying this intense cat and mouse game throughout the movie. And I think this is a really good movie that knows how to pull off tension very well. So that's my review on Run. And tell me in the comments down below, have you seen Run? And if you have, did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? 
And what's your favorite movie that features an unstable mother and daughter relationship? Please feel free to tell me in the comments down below. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is Rabbi's Vlog and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, like this video? Then please feel free to hit that like button. And also, hit that subscribe button for more content about video games, movies, and TV shows from this channel. And now, let's roll the credits, please.